Hello everyone, this is Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst here at Aeron FX Global, bringing you the technical updates for the 9th of uh, March. Today I will describe the technical outlook of New Zealand dollar US dollar since uh, later in the day the RBNZ holds its uh, monetary policy meeting. I would also like to talk about WTI which pulled back after it hit resistance uh, near the 38 zone. So let's start our treatment with uh, the New Zealand dollar US uh, dollar currency pair. Kiwi dollar tumbled on Tuesday and today during the Asian morning it hit support at 0.6715. I believe that the intraday bias is to the downside and as a result I would expect a clear move below 0.6715 to open the way for our next support barrier of 0.6660 uh, marked by the inside swing high of the 2nd of uh, March. Today the Reserve Bank of uh, New Zealand gathers to decide on its uh, benchmark interest rate and we see high possibility for a rate cut. In such a case I would expect the Kiwi to suffer and this is another reason I believe uh, the pair is more likely to continue trading uh, lower at least in the short run. Our short term oscillators support the notion as well. The RSI edged down and just uh, dipped below its 50 line, while the MACD, although positive, stands uh, below its trigger line and looks to be headed towards uh, zero. As for the broader trend, although I see the likelihood for some uh, near term declines, I prefer to stay flat with regards to the broader trend. The pair has been trading in a sideways mode between 0.64 and 0.6880 since uh, the first days of uh, October. Now let's continue with WTI. WTI retreated on Tuesday fell below 37.30 and hit support near 36.30. The price structure on the 4 hour chart still suggests a short term uptrend and as a result I would expect the bulls to regain momentum at some point and aim for, an for another test uh, near the 38 zone. A break above that zone would confirm a forthcoming higher high and could open the way for the next obstacle of 39.10. Looking at our short term oscillators, I see that uh, the RSI rebounded from near its 50 line, while the MACD, although below its trigger line, shows signs that it could turn up again. These indicators support somewhat uh, that oil prices are likely to rebound in, in the short run. As for the bigger picture, the break above 34.40, the upper bound of the sideways range WTI uh, had been trading from the 12th of February until the 2nd of uh, March has turned uh, the medium term outlook cautiously positive in my opinion. This is another reason I believe that the setback from uh, 38 is likely to be short lived. So that's it for today. For more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.